Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, Jeff. Good to see you, man. Hey, good to see you, too. <laughs> so I know you've been mentioning today a little bit about some possible rain showers coming our way. We're still expecting that for Halloween. May impact some trick-or-treat plans. Not going to be a total rain out for the entire area, but uh, just kind of have that on your radar, just like it'll be on our radar a little bit later this week. It all is all part of our next weather maker, which we've been telling you about. A cold front coming in on Halloween on its approach it is going to generate some rainfall and the most likely spot to see that in the area is going to be across the shoals and northwestern parts of Alabama in time for trick or treat. There's going to be a br very brief cool down associated with this heading into your Friday, but then temperatures are right back up into the 80s as we work our way on into the weekend. Right now, looking at that Halloween night forecast, some spooky showers. Uh, so do plan on that. 60s will be your temperatures, so the numbers won't be bad. It's just that we may have to deal with some rainfall. Now, how much are we talking about here over the next seven days? Well, for most of us, probably going to be less than half an inch of rainfall. Might get a little bit more in the blue here out towards the Mississippi border, perhaps between half an inch and an inch of rain out in that direction. We certainly need a lot more than this, uh, but this is going to be it for the time being. Another system comes in around Tuesday of next week may add to that rainfall amount, but uh, right now it doesn't look like it'll be anything super significant. So overall, the drought situation is not expected to improve markedly anytime soon. Certainly nothing out there right now. Way 31 triple Doppler and nothing expected through tomorrow. Mostly clear skies as we work our way through this evening and on into tonight. We wake up in the morning to some sunshine and clear skies with temperatures around that 60 degree mark. Mainly sunny at the lunch hour tomorrow and only a few afternoon clouds expected for you Tuesday and temperatures will be just slightly higher than what we saw today. We head into Wednesday morning mostly clear and then Wednesday afternoon southerly winds will start to pick up a little bit more trying to pull some moisture back in here and it's not out of the question. We get an isolated shower Wednesday afternoon. I think that will be pretty limited in nature, but it is a sign that uh, some things are going to change for us as we get ready to wrap up the month of October. One thing that has not changed watching the tropics. We are getting to the tail end of hurricane season, but we may not be done yet in the Caribbean. National Hurricane Center expecting uh, potential development. They give the chance of that now sitting at 40% over the next seven days. Typically this late in the season, although this is a preferred area for tropical development, uh, sometimes it's very difficult based on the wind flow and the changing of the seasons here across North America for anything that develops deep into the tropics to affect the U.S. So right now we're not anticipating that that would be a concern, but obviously something that we'll watch given the fact that we may within the next week Week, end up with Patty somewhere there in the Caribbean. So we'll watch that closely for you and continue to keep you updated as we get closer uh, as we work our way on into the early part of November. Off to school tomorrow at the bus stop. Temperatures around 60, so a coolish start, but not too chilly. And coming home from school, we'll look for some sunshine. It'll be warm and dry with temperatures running in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Here's a breakdown of that day planner. 59 at 6 in the morning. We're into the upper 60s around 10 o'clock and then climbing into the upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. Southeast breeze at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Places from Huntsville to the west could see some low 80s including 82 in the Shoals and in Huntsville, 80 in Athens, 81 in Decatur. And if you're over here into uh, the northeast corner of the state, Sand Lookout Mountain area, mid to upper 70s for highs, and we'll see kind of similar readings there in the far northern part of the area across southern middle Tennessee. There's your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10-day forecast. We got 82 tomorrow and on Wednesday, just that 10% chance for an isolated shower Wednesday afternoon. Later in the day, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday will be our best chance for seeing some rainfall this week. Uh, we will see those temperatures ease back a little by Friday, but still running near to slightly above average for early November in the low 70s to close out the week. And then we're right back up there in the 80s again heading into this weekend. Also a reminder, the time changes this weekend. We fall back, so remember to set your clocks back by one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. It means uh, the weekend will be an hour longer for some folks, extra hours sleep, for others that, you know, like to go out and do things on the weekend, it's an extra <laughs> hour to uh, stay up late Saturday night. But again, the weather looks good for the coming weekend. Another weather maker Tuesday of next week may bring some more rain back in here as well. All righty. Thanks so much, Jeff. We'll be back.